Amen. Did you hear what I said? Yes, yes sir. sir. Never you give room to the devil to allow you not to become who God has called you to be. I want us to take a couple of him in Christ alone with with uh, in Christ alone. My hope is in Christ alone. My hope is found. I'm going to take a couple of hymns while we are standing. Now, God will help us with the projectors. If you can search it out from your phone, let me allow you to do that quickly. Oh, 
for being innovative and departure from the English hymn style. He was remarkable for the hymn. When I saw her, a wondrous cross. When I saw her, the wondrous cross on which the praise of glory died. I read Sunday. We should say, sir, 
Some of us don't know what to say because we are not familiar. Happy Resurrection Sunday. You just need to wish me the same if you I wish me. you the same, sir. Amen. Let me look at someone. Go to somebody. Some of you are too cold to the like and we are not serving a God that died and didn't rise. Go to five people. Tell them he's alive. He's alive. Do it excitedly. Do it excitedly. Is, you may not he's have a but do it excitedly, is it? He's alive. He's alive. Hallelujah.
the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it.
was like lightning and his remnant white as snow. Verse 4, everybody. Verse 4, everybody. And for fear of him, the and the keepers did shake, and they became as dead. For the what? Amen. For fear of him. For the fear of him, they that troubles you, they that watches over your suffering, shall no longer lift their head over you. Amen. Jesus is for you and I. Yes, That's why sir. I want you yes, to pick it now. Yes, the Bible says, for the fear of him that sat on him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. Verse 5. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear ye not. As long as you are for me, this thing is not for you. This situation you are seeing is not for you. For I know that he is sick Jesus, which was crucified. That means the angel is saying, I'm not sitting here because of you. I know your intention is right. So I'm not here for you, so don't be afraid. That means there is a fearful look on the countenance of this angel that would not want to tolerate anybody that want to touch that stone for the second time. Listen to me, I speak to you prophetically. I that receive. stone was not just rolled out of the grave, it was rolled out of your life. Amen! That stone was rolled out of your destiny. Amen! That stone was rolled out of your family troubles. Amen! If you believe, let me hear your resounding amen. amen. Verse 6, read. He is not here. Verse 6, everybody read. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, come, see the place where the Lord lay. Come and be a witness. He's not there. Verse 7. Am I correct? I'm waiting for you. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. Now, how many of you know what happened in, the, in Galilee before he died? Anybody remember? Oh God. How many of you remember Galilee? The first miracle happened where? In Galilee. Where water turned to? To why? Okay, let me leave you people. Let me leave you. He go there before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lord, I've told you. Verse 8. And then the verse 8. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Read. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not, not afraid. afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and then shall they see me. Now when they were going, behold, some of them watch came into the city and showed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. And the elders. Shh, why are you not ready? Want to go? And, and when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, 
they gave large money unto the soldiers. They bribed them, the soldiers, so that they would say something different. Now, please, I want you to take note quickly. That's to tell you the importance of resurrection. They want to make sure it was covered. The soldiers were giving huge amount of money so that they can change the story. And yes, indeed, they accepted. And when they were accepted, we have read that. The person inside there is he a Christian? Say, say, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. That's what they asked him to do, huh? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And, and if, if this come, come to the governor's ear, we, we will persuade him and secure you. See the assurance? Go to court. When it come to the ears of the governor, uh, no, this one was not an election. Someone lift your hands up. This is not a laughing matter. Where will you and I have been if they are succeeded? That Israel is struggling to believe this what we believe is this very matter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. So they took the money and did as they were taught. Saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. Amen. Amen. Our well, Father, we thank you because you are God. Thank you for the resurrection that cannot be. Perfected and not hindered by any man. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, we give you glory. Thank Amen. you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout it loud. Amen. Amen. Like you all know, we're looking at this year, Resurrection Sunday, what I call the power of resurrection. of resurrection. Resurrection was a threat to the kingdom of hell. And that was the reason why the soldiers were bribed. To make sure that resurrection story was esteemed. stand on the way of what God has promised to do in your life that person will suffer serious defeat in his life Amen. the fact that he died is not the issue like I said it is that he resurrected like he said on the third day. Now we cannot talk about resurrection and the power of resurrection if we do not understand what happened in Genesis chapter 3. In Genesis we recognize that man sin in the garden of Eden. And that sin made man to lose Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the carrier of God. So, 
man lost the Holy Spirit. Another thing man lost, but the real sin of what happened in the Garden of Eden was righteousness. Man lost righteousness, which is the very essence of God. Well, man, the thought they lost dominion which God gave to man. Now, church, my concern is not just that man lost dominion. Remember that Jesus is referred as the second Adam. Yes, sir. Are you alive here? Yes, sir. That means there was something that the first Adam didn't do well that Jesus came to correct. Now, I want to bring it to notice to you that if Adam has not failed, there wouldn't have been a place for the second Adam. Come on, talk to me, child. Yes, sir. So, man lost what? The Holy Spirit. Second? Third? Now, I am on Domino. And then, he lost Domino and transferred it to Satan. The dominion that God gave man in Eden from creation, he gave it willingly to Satan. It is my prayer for you this morning. May you not by any chance Lose what God has given to you. Amen. Let me say it again. May you not by any chance lose what God has given to you. Amen. So how did man lose it? Man lost dominion by transparent responsibility. Man lost dominion by what? Transferring responsibility. I'm not ready to excite you this morning. So please, you have to be alive and wake up. Whenever authority or dominion is given to you, by virtue of not using it, you will lose it. Authority is meant to be used. If you don't use it, you stand the chance of losing it. Somebody say, God help me. God help me. So man lost authority. Now let's, let's look at how it happened. I'm trying to help myself. How many of you remember that when Adam and Eve sinned? You remember the story that why Eve ate the fruit that nothing went wrong? Huh? Yes, sir. So I want to help you. Help me to help you. Huh? Yes, yes sir. sir. So what happened? As she ate the food, things were normal. But the Bible said, immediately she gave to her husband to eat. And he made a bite, they had both eyes open. So if Adam had not eaten, God would have dealt with the woman and maintain Adam in a prepared place. And they put the Bible said they are great boats. Now recognize they, they, were, they were naked. Now please follow me a little bit. And when the Lord came 
into the garden to have fellowship with them. He didn't call the woman who obviously he knew that it's the fruit I gave to Adam. He called the man. Somebody say responsibility. Responsibility. Authority. Authority. He called the man. God did not ask Eve question first. He said, Adam, Adam, where are you? Now I ask, why is he asking Adam, where are you? Can't he see? Whenever God gives you a responsibility and authority, there is a throne set for you in the spirit realm where you exercise authority. You may not see it. Men may not see it. But there is a throne where God wanted to see him in the spirit realm. He was not there. So that's where he was asking, where are you? You are no longer on your throne. You lost your authority. He said, we heard your voice and we heed ourselves. So why? For we were naked. Now church, follow me. So how do you know you were naked? Transfer of authority started from there. The answer. He said, the woman who that gave me took the food. Me. Check your Bible. God didn't say any word again to Adam. In authority, Adam transferred authority to the wife. And immediately, God began to question the woman on whom Adam has transferred his authority. He said, Why did you do this? The woman said, A serpent be called me. Authority moved to serpent. If the woman had kept quiet, the woman would have been on top of the man. Because man has lost his authority. And the woman now controlled the man. And had sat on the throne. And then her Lost of submission, said the servant. Now, church, read if you can when you go home. When God asked the servant, Why did you do this? The servant closed his mouth, he didn't say a word. So that's why the authority of this place was handed over to him. And that's why he's the ruler of this place. He didn't blame anybody. He took responsibility. Authority is taking responsibility. Serpent didn't give excuse. So I want to let you know how he became the father of this world. And that's how many of us have lost our authority over what God gave to us. Sometimes to sickness. Have you not read the Bible said that sickness has no power over you? Have you not read that he has given you and I power, authority, dominion, and we are not ruling because someone lost the authority by passing the ball blaming somebody not ready to take responsibility because he will not understand resurrection if you don't understand where we went wrong so that he become the lord of this place so church for Jesus to redeem this act 
dying on the cross was not good enough. Resurrection was incomplete until he went down. He went down as man. He went down in the nature. God created Adam from the beginning. Not as God. The Bible said when he died, he went down to the abyss. Not with the help of the Holy Spirit. Because it will be unjust for him to fight the enemy. The last fight with a help from the way the Holy Spirit. He went in the form of made man from the beginning. To get back what the authority that man lost by passing the ball. Men learn to be responsible. Those of you who hear me from the beginning, I've never passed the ball to my ex for the breaking of my marriage. I will always tell you I am responsible. Not because I did anything wrong, is that I allow what I shouldn't have allowed. And that gives credence to what happened. Wake up! Who have you transferred your dominion to? You know, we are looking for easy words. We don't know when we get ourselves entangled in spiritual matters. The woman was not submissive. That's a problem. And man was not committed. The setter said, I did it. And then they were driven out of the prepared place. Because they had no spirit. I told myself I'm not going to preach. Check your life. You know, how many, how many of us know? It's always easy to blame somebody. Huh? Yes. When you're doing it, you're transferring authority. So that's how we lost it. It's, it is a church. You know, this is the reason why he has to die. And when he died, the Bible says, he rose and went down to the abyss. Oh, I just remember something. If you remember also, I think in the Matthew of School, when Pontius Pilate asked him a question, are you the king of the Jews? He answered in the word. He asked him for the second time. He answered him no word. Because he was trying to reclaim what was lost. Now let me also help you. When they made the crown of thorns and put on his head, it was a restoration of the, what the first Adam before. Because every authority carries a, 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 a crown. So what they were doing physically by Satan they didn't know was restoring back the lost crown. So he took it and they wrote it in many languages, in Greeks, in Latin, and Hebrew, the king of the Jews. And they wanted the first pilot to change it. They said no. For what is ready? Is sin. Dead. Yes, sir. That was the journey of redemption. So when he went down, when he fought this battle, and then the Bible says he took the form of man. He went through the pain. That was why in the journey of the cross, he came to a point when he said to his father, This pain is too much. 
church and then God has taken away from him every form of God. So he feels the real pain. He asks that this be changed. He said, Father, you can route this through another means. Oh, there's so many things I need to remind you. Lift your hands up, everybody. Every lost position by careless words, every lost placement by ignorance, may this restoration bring restoration to you. Amen. If you like, don't say amen. Then I'll say it again. You didn't know when you think you were complaining, you were actually selling out. When you think you were mongering, you were actually giving devil the authority to rule over you. I declare that the resurrection will also encompass that for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I didn't hear the amen of desperate people like that. Amen. Shout a living amen. Responsibility, you lose authority. That's why when certain things go wrong, it doesn't matter who did it. I am the one God will call here. And that's why when I would if I want to take some drastic measures that will not make you happy, I will not look at your face. Because if anything goes wrong, authority of Federal Republic of Nigeria they will say where is the pastor where is it before the person who committed whatever as long as it was done in the name of the church in this place or wherever they go as a group and that's why I said to you you don't just as a group decide one day we want to go to a place keep promoting God without my clearance family, your age is immaterial. Until you maintain authority, not oppressing people. Remember what I'm saying? That what happened is this. There was something God committed into Adam that it was not there. So it was also meant for Adam to maintain. And he lost it. He was weak to tell God. He transferred it to the woman. The woman was looking for what to do now. She's not submissive. She said, ah, it's not Satan. I was on my own. And Satan came and begot me. That's a wonderful excuse. But that excuse didn't suffice. Before the throne of heaven. And Satan, who has been with him, knew that he dare not say something. This urge for us to pray. I feel this urge inside of me for us to pray. Have God given you a small business and you transfer the responsibility to another person? No matter what happened to you in the level of part, whether I'm present or not, I am the one. The same is your family. The same is that your business. What, how have you communicated concerning the struggles or the delays you are experiencing? Lift your hands, God. 
Say, Father. Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, some of you think I am joking. I pity you. Because you are blind. You lack spiritual sensitivity. Until God reveals anything to you, you wouldn't know that this is the foundation of your problem. There are people that it, their wife will feed them till they die. Because they lost authority. Financial authority. When they should have taken care of them. They want to eat from the woman out of calling. And she will begin to rule and make things out of calling. I've shared that with some of you. No matter what my ex did, I made sure she lacked nothing till the last day she left. In fact, the last day she left, I still gave her money for her hair and her upkeep and sent her to bless it. Get receipts and do what you needed to do. Still give her 5,000 as at 209 for her too. I know that as I do it, I keep my part and heaven keeps his part. So when you see me the way I go, there are certain spiritual laws that I must keep. There are few people that survive what I survive. You must come to the light of the truth. You. Everything that happens to you, there is a truth that holds you. Everything that affects you, there is a truth that, are, that holds you. That is keeping as a foundation that you must not fail to do. As a man, if it is for you to bring 20,000 and you're receiving the money and God has empowered you, make sure you bring it. Don't be Someone is doing everything. Exactly. You will always do it. Your transparent response. You will not. You will not have money. Money go wrong from you because she will always go and pick, and then she's feeding the family, and then you use your own and go and go also. No, you are. You have just delegated authority because remember, I said to you, when you delegate responsibility. You have transferred authority. And you think you are smart. No, that, that's even the worst thing. Please, even if it's one man, one more, truly, that's what you can afford. Break it. Don't ever. Okay, my wife will do it. You go and go to bar and drink with other women and spend it. The woman will labor, 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 labor to keep the house while you are dashing another woman. You have never dashed your wife 5,000, then you are giving another woman 10,000, and she cannot even say thank you. And you, that is a woman, learn to adore your husband in his throne. He's the man 
Thank God for it. Say, Father. Father. Whatever I've lost. Whatever I've lost. lost. By the reason of ignorance. By, by the, the reason, reason of ignorance. ignorance. To whoever I have transferred. To, to whoever I have transferred. My responsibility. My responsibility. Thereby losing my authority. Thereby losing my authority. I ask by the power of resurrection. 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 Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. In my life. In my life. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration.
God shouted. He saw that the tummy of Eve was bloating, coming up. He said, what is this? He didn't understand what it was. And then Cain and Abel came. He sought to destroy that. Thought that was what was meant for the redemption of mankind. From that time till now, like I said, he has not rested his arms. So when Jesus was born, there was a prophecy. He started looking for who is this person upon who this prophecy will be fulfilled. Listen to me. When some of you don't understand, see that man, see that. When some of you don't understand why Satan or when the devil is fighting you above the other person and you say some things and transfer your authority, is that what I'm trying to tell you now? Whenever there is a prophecy about you, Satan will go out of his way to destroy you. That has been his pattern. I came to this town by prophecy. You see this church? A mad man stood by this road years before I came and said to the restaurant that is here if you have lived long here you will hear the story and said to them keep selling food a church is coming to take over here and told to God in Guinea say your money is finished so when we started a church here a lot of people living here they gathered and said so this mad man was giving a prophecy before you know it, Golden Gate packed. Three years of our appearance, the devil said, No, we can't let this young man. Oh, I knew that a certain young man came from Warren. Pastors ganged up against this church. Men spoke. Members sold me out. Not because my name is Kingsley. It is the prophecy that glorious dominion chapel carries. Those that I eat with fought this church, still in the church, wanting to see how it will end. God showed me all of that, but he said, keep quiet. It's not your church. Now I'm trying to teach you something. is a prophecy over your life don't rest your oars in prayer because the enemy will fight you until, until he will hey, neutralize the little energy you even have to serve God until you tell yourself I don't want to serve God you wonder why so many people are not going to what you are going to listen you are not the same yes sir yes sir Be ready. This is what I'm about to do. And I thank him for it. It prepares me for battle. And by the grace of God, victory is assured. Hallelujah. I said, victory is assured. Yes, yes sir. And I speak to you on this resurrection morning. Amen. And every battle you are going through because of the prophecy over your life and destiny, receive the grace to overcome. Amen. Oh, I talk, I talk to the right I said, receive the grace to overcome. Amen. Every authority lost. Be restored now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Sit down. So. 
The enemy will attack the prophecy. He attacked Jesus from birth. To the extent God said to Mary, take this little child, go to Egypt, until and make his enemies his full stone. And ladies and gentlemen, you know Jesus' ministry. He didn't just emerge. There was a time nobody knew what happened. After the 12 years, the next he appeared was 30 years. What was he doing? The enemy fighting the enemy. He will not submit to any authority that is coming to steal your authority. Amen. Let me hear your real name. Amen. Amen. And then, when Jesus was carrying the cross and trying to jump things, Simon, the African, came. All those that knew Jesus left him alone. It was an African like you and I. Isn't it a privilege that identified with him in his suffering? Now listen to me. I'm going to tell you something. Now when the social media and those who don't understand scriptures try to bombard your head over certain truths, Jesus said in his word, He that suffered with me shall also do what? Reign with me. He took the cross with him. Now listen. The, the, the importance of what Simon did was if Jesus had died on the streets, you would not have been for you and I. For him to become the savior of the world, he must die a disgraceful death. And the only dis disgraceful death that had been affirmed is the death of the tree. So if he as at that time, Jesus had lost blood, he has lost strength, he can no longer carry. It was an African that helped him. Can't you and I be proud of that? A black man. It means we are made to stand. Even when those others can stand. If you have men who stood with you, two more, not trouble times. Don't play with them. And he helped him and took the cross onto. And then he was. They couldn't break his feet. Before they come to break his feet, you know what the story I'm trying to jump some. Yes. And then he gave up the ghost and they buried him. You know the story and all of that. Something happened. Let me show you something in Colossians. Colossians chapter 2. Let me show you something in Colossians chapter 2. Let me just jump it.
to complete the restoration of what mankind lost. And then in Psalm 24 from verse number 1. Psalm 24, please open your Bible. You can't grab the scriptures and quote it. They don't upon you. Write down and open your Bible. the fullness thereof. Who owns the earth? The Lord. I didn't hear you. Who owns the earth? The, the Lord. Lord. Oh God help me. Who owns the earth? The, the Lord. Lord. And the what? And the fullness, and the fullness thereof. thereof. The world and they that, that dwell well therein. He has taken over the authority. From this point, Satan do not own this world again. Amen. Amen. Listen to me, church. Though he resurrected and gave us victory, we still transfer authority back to the conquered Satan. So everything that happened, we say Satan. We still say Satan. Satan. It is difficult for many of us to tell the truth say, I am guilty. He took it on the premise that he become a cause. Begin with us. Went down. He said, the earth is of the Lord. That's also to remind me to tell you that Jesus didn't just die for mankind. He died for everything on earth. So when you know who you are by the reason of redemption, you can now command things as it were from the beginning. That's why the devil uses fear. Fear to bring us back to the point of lust of authority. Fear. Fear. The Bible says he's not a lion. Is just like a roaring lion. So what you think that the devil had over you was taken from him. I'm going to show you more scriptures. When taken from him, he was defeated. God said, I quicken you with me. I have quicken you with me. So it is a shame. If I'm standing with my son, he's that he's afraid of cockroach. I'll push you. If I stand with you and you are afraid of cockroach, eh, and I'm standing and say, Stop, you know, stop, I'll push you. Because you have no confidence in me as your father. That's what many of us do in our spiritual life with Jesus. He said, Behold, I am with you always, even till the end of time. He said, I will never leave you. I'll forsake, no, forsake you. you. So, if you are still a victim of fear, you are losing your authority. Philippians chapter 2, let's take from verse number 8 to verse 11, verse 11 quickly. The Bible told us that Jesus released the captives from their captors. You were captive of the devil, but as the resurrection was completed, when the assignment was fulfilled, you are no longer a captive. You are no longer a captive. Amen. Now it's important that you are no longer a captive. Amen. Stop behaving like a captive. You are no longer a captive. That's the benefit of resurrection. He said, I have given you power to tread upon snakes and stuff. And nothing shall by any means not you. What other confidence do you want? I 
I'm here to challenge you, to energize you. The devil that is fighting you has been defeated. Amen. Amen. If you like say amen, if you don't like, the devil that is fighting you has been defeated. Amen. amen. Imagine you see a dead lion and you are running and running and running and somebody says he's dead. Is it a lie? As long as he's wearing the color of a lion. And you leave what belongs to you. God will help you. He said, I'm being found in the fashion as a man. Are you there in your Bible? Yes, yes sir. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Even the death of the cross. Go on. Wherefore God has also highly what? Exalted. And then that's not the voice of people. Highly what? Exalted, Exalted him. And given him a name. Which is above every, every name. name. Not just Jesus. By his obedience. By his sacrifice. He got a name. He humbled himself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I'll tell you the truth. You're killing me here this morning. Are you alive here this morning? Yes, sir. Have you read in the Bible? He said, Let no man judge you by meat. Yes, sir. Or by drink. Yes, sir. I showed it to you and thought some people will ask questions. Hey. The reason is that he has given you his spirit. Yes, you will never do what he cannot do. Hey. Oh, yes, sir. Hey. Hey. Yes, he has sir. given you this part of the universe to take care of. Do you know you are direct ambassador, a direct governor, or the minister of finance in your family? 
happen. Ah, yes, sir. yes, sir. Because you don't know who you are, you lost your responsibility and then you don't. When you go to an unbeliever to beg him and say some good words and call him our God, sir, my Lord, and he give you money, you begin to control your destiny. It's not being arrogant. I know who I am. You can see when you know this thing I'm telling you, your choice of words will matter. Help me tell somebody say, I'm not who you used to know me. I'm, I'm not, not who you used to know. Oh, you're not saying it to say, I'm not used to who you used to know me. I'm not who you used to Something has changed inside of me. Something has changed inside of me. Yes, Matthew chapter 28 from verse 18. We're going to read the practice. From 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. all nations baptizing them in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and lo I am with you all even up to the end of the world assurance Yes, sir. Yes, sir. John was not a Baptist. Huh? Yes, yes sir. sir. Read the scripture. That was not his ministry. Just to baptize me. He was called as a prophet. So when they were asking John, if you read your scripture, who he was, in order to find out whether it's the one they are looking for, they have to make him to start baptizing people. People were coming to him for baptism, and he keeps saying, The one that is to come is greater than I. I am nobody to leave him, lose even the arches, the arches of his shoe. They now said to him, Who are you? Are you Elijah? Are you Elisha? Why were they wearing him? So that was going on. Come help me now. That was going on till Jesus appeared in the sea. Church full of him. So when Jesus appeared in the sea to be baptized, John what himself was looking for who is this man that we are waiting for. So when Jesus came to him to baptize him, John said, no, I can't baptize you if you are the one. Jesus said to him, so first that to be, so that the scripture be fulfilled. Now listen to me, church. As Jesus was baptized, trouble started. What we thought was a great affirmation, bring to the light to the Jews and to the Pharisees who he really was. The Bible says, voice came from heaven and said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. The Bible said, the Bible said, as they were saying, the dove came and picked up on him. The Bible said, it was said that every man had it. From then, they sought to kill him. That was when they began to seek to kill him. But the day, God affirmed. That this is the one that come to redeem mankind. Are you afraid of what the enemy can do? The scripture said, if the Lord be for me, 
be against me. According to the spirit According of holiness, the spirit of holiness by the resurrection. You and I were justified. We are justified in the glad being that they not guilty. Now let's look at 
Romans chapter 4 verse 25 quickly there's a few benefits of this resurrection who was delivered from our offenses I was raised again for what Education. who was delivered from our offenses I was raised again for what our justification. It's written in that Bible you are holding. That gave us access back to the Holy Spirit that they lost at the Garden of Eden. I told you there are three things they lost. The lost one, Jesus. two, three. Don't you came to church if you speak if you open your mouth now now you come to church what is the other one i'm here at church you were justified so nobody can call you any name anymore someone say i'm justified i'm justified by the reason of resurrection by the reason of resurrection i'm justified I'm justified. I have access. I have access to God. To God. Let's look at Galatians chapter 3, verse 14. That the blessings of Abraham might become, might come on all the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. How do we receive it? Through faith. faith. How do we receive it? Through faith. faith. And what is faith? Sharing responsibility, responsibility with, with God. God. What is faith? Sharing, Sharing responsibility with God. God. What is faith? Sharing responsibility with God. Somebody was good to count that I count. I gave about 15 definition and that's very serious. Oh, you got tired. If me that is preaching is not tired, you that is listening tired need deliverance. Faith is a beautifier. Faith beautifies us. Now you know that your dominion has been restored. When you see certain things you run from, Lay your authority over them. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. Declare your authority over them. And one of the things he asked us in the previous scripture we read, he said we should go about teaching Matthew 28. He said we should go about teaching all men what will have received the gospel of salvation is the revelation of the father's love that's what we enjoy in redemption the gospel of salvation is the revelation of and the father's love demonstrated through the statutory sacrifice to the blood of jesus christ demonstrated by the statutory sacrifice to the blood of Jesus. And as we take the body today and partake in his blood, the power of resurrection will be formally restored into your lives. Amen! only for them that believe. Lift your hands everybody. Stand on your feet.